everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercy and today we're going to talk on how to take care of our simple babum arachnoidium or commonly called as cobweb house lake. So in this video, I will discuss the proper soil requirements, water requirements, light requirements, and other important information for you to be able to take care of your simple babum house lake. So if you want to know all those data, kindly watch this video until the end. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you found this information helpful, kindly share this with your friends. So come on, follow me and be with me until the end of this video. Simperbibum arachnoidium, a complete care guide, especially for the beginners. Simperbibum arachnoidium is also as known as cobweb house leaf. It is a hardy, hairy succulent that grows in cluster and is endemic to Carpathian Mountains of Southern Europe. Whether you are growing the simperbibum arachnoidium in a pot, rock garden or dry stone walls, the spider web-like appearance of the plant will grab your attention. Simperbibum arachnoidium is easy to grow, but it is also fast-growing and adaptable to different environments. Simperbibum arachnoidium is a creeping succulent that develops green rosette which grows up to 3 inches tall and 12 inches wide. If you nurture the cold webs house legs very well, you will reward you with a pink star-like flowers and offset in the summertime. After the flowering season, the parent succulent dies and the offset replaces it. Simper bay bombs are known monocarpic succulents. So if you want simper bay bomb arachnoidium to bloom, it is best not to grow it indoors. How to care your Simperbibum arachnoidium? In this video, I will discuss how to take care Simperbibum arachnoidium with regards to lightning, watering, potting mix, and temperature. So, first come first for lightning requirements. Simperbibum arachnoidium is best to grow outdoors. The succulent requires partial to full sun to thrive. If you keep under direct sunlight, do not mistake the purplish brown color for sunburn de or discoloration. If the leaves of Simperbibum arachnoidium appear to be shriveled and dark brownish, that is a sign that the succulent is suffering from sunburn and needs to be treated to prevent further damage. So if you have a if you have to acclimate the Simperbibum arachnoidium to full sun to avoid sunburn, start by exposing the plant to a morning sun 1 to 2 hours daily. After a month, you can introduce the plant to the afternoon sun for about 3 hours daily. But bear in mind that fully acclimated Simperbibum arachnoidium can still get sunburned during a period of intense heat. So you might want to take the plant indoor or use a sunshade to protect it, especially when the temperature rises to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're growing Simperbibum arachnoidium indoors, place the path close to east-facing window or a west or south-facing window could also work depending on your location or any location in your house that can get enough sunlight. The biggest mistake you can make is to overwater the Simperbibum arachnoidium while providing insufficient lightning and can kill the plant. If you notice the stems of your cobweb house legs are stretching in the direction of sunlight, quickly provide more lightning to prevent the succulent from becoming leggy or etulated, the condition known as etulation. If you live in a poorly lit environment, consider getting a grow light to boost the light intake of your Simperbibum arachnoidium. 
frost tolerance. One of the great features of the Simper Bebom Arachnoidium is that it can withstand frostbite and freezing temperatures that are below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can leave your COVID house lake outdoors all throughout the year, but do not forget to check the plant as well. In fact, you can plant a Simper Bebom Arachnoidium in the ground if you live in an area that have some winter. It will survive in the rain and cold during winter times. Nonetheless, if you would like to protect the succulent during harsh weather condition, consider using a froze cloth or small greenhouse. For potting mix, the soil you grow at Kubeb House Lake in determines how well they grow, be able to resist pests and diseases. Simperbibum arachnoidium grows best in sandy soil with good drainage. Ensure the soil pH is somewhere between very acidic and slightly alkaline. Simperbibum arachnoidium had a long top root and it can get water and nutrients from deep within the soil during a period of drought. This helps it to survive even in a rocky and windy areas to prevent moisture from ev evaporating. You can top dress the soil with pebbles. Using compost specially formulated for alpine plants is very effective for Simperbibum arachnoidium. That said, you can make your potting mix by adding particular grit to a shallow pad to Simperbibum arachnoidium can crawl easily. For watering requirements, water Simperbibum arachnoidium requires skill in balance. You have to stimulate the natural environment of alpines. This means you have to water the succulent at least once a week. It is best to water before sunrise or just after sunset to prevent the evaporation of moisture. It also recommended to water during this period because the water droplet of the leaves might act sort of magnifying glass that attract heat to the plant that cause sunburn. Simperbibum arachnoidium can be resurrected after a long period of drought. You, ha you just have to water the plant more often and deeply. For younger succulent, water twice a week can revive the can revive them and develop stronger roots. Do not water mature Simperbibum arachnoidium succulent during winter months because they are dormant. But then you have to water younger Simperbibum arachnoidium during this period because their roots will help to tap nutrients from the soil and not yet fully established. For propagating the Simperbibum arachnoidium plant, the best way to propagate your cubib house lake plant is by removing the offset and pops from the parent succulent. This means you have to be patient for the Simperbibum arachnoidium to develop pops because you can propagate the plant. To propagate the pops, you have to use only a mature pops as you cut off the desired pops. Some get some roots along with it while you can do some, some without the roots they in they increase your chance to success. Since the roots are already developed, also stronger pups have a higher chance of surviving the tender pups. Once the pup is dry, plant it on a separate potting mix and water it occasionally. Bear in mind that pups require more moisture than the mature succulent, so you have to mist the soil once it is dry. You can stop misting the pups from the roots and start watering deeply once or twice a week. As the new plant matures, you can start increasing it by exposure to sunlight daily or start acclimating them to stay in a full sun. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something about our topic today. And if you found this information helpful, kindly share this video to your friends. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be able to be updated on our next video. So bye-bye for now. I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.